Hey everyone, Digital David here. Today in this video, I'm gonna be unboxing and reviewing the HP 24MH computer monitor. This is a 24 inch full 1080p HD IPS panel display. I did purchase this product myself and any opinion expressed in this video is strictly my own. That being said, if you're interested in this product, you wanna find out more about it, the link to it will be in my video description below. You can see how it was packaged right here in a very nice and simple retail box. Again, 24 inch display. 1080p full HD IPS panel, built-in speakers, and a height adjustable stand. Now let's go ahead, let's open it up and look at the package contents. Here are all the package contents besides the panel itself. First, you can see our product notices in multiple languages, followed by our quick setup guide. Take note of the resolution, 1920 by 1080 at 60 hertz. They have four simple steps to get everything set up and ready to go from installing the stand and base to connecting your computer with three different display options, VGA, HDMI, and DisplayPort. We also have our audio connector right there and we have our power plug at the bottom. Here's the other side too, with showing you how to actually position the monitor with the adjustable height stand and we can rotate it, portrait and landscape. We can attach a Kensington security lock as well. Then we have HP support in multiple countries and languages. Next up, you can see some included cables right here. We have our HDMI cable. We have our 3.5 millimeter auxiliary cable for audio and our power plug right here. You can see that. And then we have our stand and base in two separate pieces. So take a look at that. Really nice quality, looks great. Here is the second piece. Again, this will be height adjustable right there for us and it's gonna attach right in. Now let's go ahead, let's look at the panel. Last but not least, we have the monitor itself right here. You can see the AP logo and branding where we're gonna attach our base, our Kensington lock option, our two built-in speakers right here. We can gently tip it up and now you can see all of our different ports and IO. We got our power plug, our display connections right there. We have display port, HDMI, VGA, and we have our 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Take a look at the bottom. We have our buttons right here. Here's our power button. Everything looks really nice, really thin. Now let's flip it around. You can see it from this side, guys. It's 24 inches. This is a 24 inch monitor, super lightweight and very slim and thin design, especially around the top up here. You can see it gets thicker along the back, but very lightweight, looks great. We can see it from the other side as well too. And then pay attention to the thin screen bezels along the top and the sides as well. What a nice design. I really like the color of this. It's got a good impression with the black screen and our silvery um, plate at the bottom right here covering. And then you can see we have the model information HP 24MH right there. But I really like the color scheme going on with the black and the silver, it's really sharp. And yeah, there it is, there's a the monitor itself. Now let's go ahead, let's get the stand installed. So the stand comes in two pieces. Here's the first piece we're gonna install right here. Pay attention to the top right here where it says Melky Way. You just go ahead, you're gonna line it up and it's just gonna clip right into place. So there we go, it just clipped in. If we ever need to release this, there is a release lever and then we can pull it out. So let's go ahead, let's just line it up and then attach it right in place. Now we need to take the base piece. You can see in the bottom, we have a screw that we're gonna use to finger tighten everything and line this up. Start with the thicker side first. There's a metal lip there. We need to get that in place. Just like we have right here. Now we can go ahead, push it in firmly, and now we can tighten it down. Just finger tight again. There we go. And that just sits flush right there. So you can see how that's gonna go for us. Now let's go ahead, let's pull it up and let's take a look at it. So here we go. Here's the lowest height setting right there. Here's the highest height setting. Here's somewhere in between. We can adjust the tilt too. So that's our tilt adjusted all the way down. And then we can bring it back. We can adjust the tilt up. So you can see that right there. That's the lowest tilt setting. Here's the highest tilt setting. Here's that max height setting again. We'll turn it around so you can see it this way. Let's bring it down, lowest height, max height, max tilt. Now for fun, let's go ahead, let's twist it around. So we can actually rotate this from landscape to portrait mode. It does only rotate one way. And then we got to kind of got to kick it out at the bottom. And then we can rotate it all the way around. If you want to use this for like spreadsheets, something like that, you can definitely use it in portrait mode right there. Really nice stand and base. Definitely a really flexible and versatile one, which is nice. And again, we can adjust the tilt a little bit too, even in that mode. So again, you kind of got to 
pivot it a little bit out and you can rotate it around. But we have two different viewing angle options right there, depending on our content and what we're trying to consume or do productivity wise, we can do our landscape or our portrait viewing with this monitor. Now let's go ahead, let's plug it in and try it out. So here we go, you can see I got it plugged in, powered on, everything works great and looks great. So you can see this is full HD 1920 by 1080p resolution, 60 hertz as our refresh rate. Let's go ahead, the first thing let's do, let's dive into the menu settings really quick. So again, we have all these buttons along the bottom right here, let's push the first one. That'll bring up our quick menu, we can see the full menu, brightness, color options, or we can exit. So let's go ahead, let's push the first one again. Now we can browse all the different categories. So the first one we have is brightness, and you can see we have brightness, contrast, dynamic contrast, and black stretch. So we can adjust all of those features. Then we have our color options right here. Let's go into those really quick so you guys can see. We're currently in neutral by default. Now let's just browse a couple different ones. You can see cool. Here's low blue light. And they're definitely making a noticeable difference here in the studio. That's night mode. Here's reading mode. HP Enhance Plus custom RGB, so we could set our own RGB right there. And then we have reset, we can go back, and then here's warm. Let's keep it at neutral for now. And then we can exit out if we want. Let's see, one, two, three, fourth button. All right, now we're back. Let's keep browsing. Then we have our image options right here, our response time, our sharpness, image scaling if we want, we can change those settings. Then we have our input options. Currently we're using display port, but we have HDMI and VGA, auto switch input and DP hot plug detection. You can see those options. Here's power. You can see auto sleep mode, power on recall, sleep timer, power off timer, power LED. Then we have our menu settings, our menu position, menu transparency, menu timeout, menu rotation, OSD messages and assign buttons. Then we have management right here. You can see we can conduct a factory reset, additional support options for us, language options and audio. Then we have information right here. You can see current mode, 1920, 1080, 60 Hertz. Optimal mode, 1920, 1080, 60 Hertz. Color setting, backlight hours, firmware version, serial number. Then we have the exit option. And again, you can see at the very bottom current mode, it tells us our resolution and display settings right there. So that's a quick look at the HP menu. It's pretty in depth guys with a lot of customization depending on your needs and preferences for what you'll be using this monitor for. Now let's go ahead, let's try out the image quality. So first up, you can see we got a pretty stunning video right here at 1080p 60 Hertz. You can see the image quality right now with the natural image setting preset that we currently have with the monitor right here. But take a look at that picture. It looks really nice, very smooth, really crisp. The colors look great too. Now keep in mind you are watching this on a camera filming the screen, but they look really good in person. Really quickly, if you want, we can change the image settings right here. So let's look at another option for the picture quality. So let's change our color again. So let's do, um, what do you guys wanna see? There's cool, low blue light, obviously night reading. Here's HP Enhance Plus. Let's try that one. Here's medium settings for it. And there's the high and there is low, medium, high. I like the high settings. Let's try that and let's go back out really quick. Take a look again with their enhanced settings on. Really stunning video right there. Pretty cool. Look at how beautiful the earth is. That's the HP Enhance Plus on high. Let's go back and let's do that one on medium again. But again, you'll have to tweak the settings to whatever preference you prefer for whatever content you're viewing. So there's medium, let's select that. All right, and then let's go back. There we go, we can watch it for another second right there. Pretty neat. Now let's go ahead, let's try out the viewing angle. So with an IPS panel, we should have a viewing angle of around 178 degrees. So this is about, you know, straight on with the camera. Now just watch as we rotate it so you can get a feel for the viewing angle. This monitor does a really good job handling the glare here in the studio. I got massive studio lights and other monitors pointing back at me right now. So you can see we kind of lose it there a little bit. 
and it is doing such a good job with all the harsh lighting here in the studio. I can't stress that enough. All right, so you can get a feel for the viewing angle. Now let's go ahead, let's try that one more time with the studio lights off. So now we're gonna do it one more time right here with the lights off. You can see that viewing angle again. Still have a glimpse of it. Technically you can still see some right there too. That's pretty impressive. But you get the feel for it. I'm not gonna have any issues viewing this from a desk or over your coworker's shoulder or off to the side for presentation or anything along those lines. So there's a the nice viewing angle that we get with these IPS panels. Looks so good. Check that out. Now we can watch it for another second again with the lights off here so you can see the screen in a less harsh environment. Look at that landscape video, gorgeous. Again, 1920, 1080p, full HD, 60 hertz, and that's the quality of video we're watching too on the monitor right now. Look at those colors. Really nice pop to them. So you can see everything looks great with this monitor. So now it's time for one of my favorite tests right here. This is the Blur Busters motion test. You can see the results for the 60 FPS for this monitor with our 60 Hertz refresh rate. I would not recommend any monitor less than 60 FPS. Honestly, even that's a minimum by today's standards. So obviously the higher Hertz and refresh rate that you get, the smoother the footage is gonna be. And you can see the pretty drastic results as we jump up from 15 to 30 to 60. And then again, if we went from 60 to like 75 to 120 to 144, all the way up to 240 Hertz and beyond, you're gonna get super smooth footage and refresh rates. That's really crucial for gameplay. Not so much for a, a multi-use monitor like this where 60 Hertz is gonna be good enough, but just keep that in mind. You want to see higher refresh rates for your monitors to get that smooth footage, whether you're watching videos or playing an FPS shooter or something along those lines. But this is the Blur Busters motion test where you can see the results of this monitor with our 60 Hertz refresh rate. Now you can see I have the audio settings set to 50 right now for the speaker volume. We also have our binaural microphone to try to capture the audio in the most realistic way like you guys are right here in the studio listening to the built-in speaker quality with me. So first let's go ahead, let's play a song, let's listen to it for a couple of seconds at 50 for the volume, then we'll increase the volume and continue on with our test. So let's go ahead, let's try it out now. So there you go, hopefully you get a feel for how everything sounds with this monitor. So what's a computer monitor good for if you're not gonna use it to browse the web and check up on your favorite videos and to see what's trending online? So you can see right here, we're at the YouTube trending page. You can see how fluid and responsive it is to our scrolling. Really nice monitor guys with 24 inches of screen real estate. Great for watching videos, reading articles online, browsing the web. We can also check out our favorite tech news as well, catch up on everything that's going on around the web in the tech world. So we can click on a link right here, you can see. Very nice, looks nice. No issues at all right there with it. Now let's go ahead, let's try that again, but instead of landscape mode, let's check it out in portrait mode. All right, check that out, we got it in portrait mode now. Look at how cool that is as we browse the YouTube trending page right there. So many videos load, fantastic. 
Now let's go up to the top. Let's go back to the verge. So you can see the verge right here. Look at how cool that is. Great for stuff like this, browsing the web online. Portrait mode's really cool. Organ spreadsheets, if you're into data entry, stock trading, day trading, any of that stuff. Let's go find the same article we clicked on previously. Here it is, a Twitch article. There we go, look at that. Watch as everything loads right here. Really a cool layout, guys. Love portrait mode. Really neat. Again, we can do that really easily with this monitor. You will have to make one display setting change to change it from landscape to portrait, but it's very simple. So it's really easy to do in Windows 10 just to change it to portrait mode if you wanna view your content like this with maybe a second monitor. All right, guys, so it wouldn't be a monitor review if we don't try to sneak in a game of Fortnite just to see how gaming is on this 1080p monitor, 60 hertz a second right here. Let's go ahead, let's jump out of the bus and let's play some Fortnite. Death indeed. Oh man. Oh my gosh. I can't kill anybody. Oh, I got one. So let's just say the monitor isn't the reason why I didn't win in Fortnite or do that well, but overall it's actually an enjoyable experience gaming on this monitor. So let me share with you guys my final thoughts after reviewing this monitor. Honestly, I wasn't sure about it, but since this is one of the most popular monitors you guys bought through Digital David Affiliate Links, now I understand why. One, the design is there, it looks really good. I love the slim bezels across the top and the sides. It's really just a good looking monitor, better than the pictures, and I'm just really actually pleasantly surprised. The second thing is the value is actually there. While I thought this did run a couple dollars more in price than some other comparable monitors on the market today at full HD, 1080p with 60 hertz refresh rates. One of the biggest values for this monitor is that stand and the fact that we can adjust it between portrait and landscape mode. That's actually really, really, really a solid value right there if you're in the market for having that capability. You're really gonna be impressed with this monitor if that's something you're after. The value is there with this stand versus all the other monitors that this is competing with. So from a business use case, I see why this is popular with businesses and offices. Maybe somebody working from home too just wants to have a second monitor for their laptop. You're definitely gonna wanna check this out. It actually did decently well in gaming for the full HD 60 hertz refresh rate, about what you would expect. I like the colors on it. I like all the different modes that we have. Really, it's a solid choice. The value is there, guys, with the stand, the built-in speakers. Obviously, I'd like to see higher resolutions, 1440p, 75 hertz refresh rate, and beyond would be nice in the future, too. But honestly, at this price point for a utility monitor, you're in really good hands if you end up going with this HP. Well, that concludes our video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget the product link will be in our video description below. Please go ahead, check it out and do your shopping from there. Any purchase made through that link helps support our channel at no additional cost to you. So we're really grateful and thankful for all of your support. While you're at it, can you go ahead and hit that like button for us? and subscribe to our channel. We have new content coming out daily and we don't want you to miss anything. Please go ahead and give us a follow online and make it a clean sweep. Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Twitch, TikTok, Discord. You can message us on WeChat, check out our website and join our free newsletter. Thank you guys so much for being here. Don't forget new content daily and we can't wait to see you in our next video.